Hello everybody, uh, Officer here, and with back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 video, and online I guess it could apply to as well. Uh, Happy New Year's everybody, hopefully everybody's having a fantastic time. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys not a very practical glitch or trick, I guess you could call it a trick, it's up to you. Um, but basically I'm going to show you guys how to go Code 2 in GTA 5. Now most of you guys probably already figured it out. I'm actually going to be showing you guys two methods today, so as you guys all know, if you just press O3 on the PS4, or I don't know what it is on Xbox, somewhere in the same proximity, you'll notice that you'll have the sirens, you'll have the whale, the yelp, all that stuff. You can even, yeah, all this, and then you can even do this, the air horn with it. I know mine's modded, so that's why it sounds a little bit different. I can upload a video on that later if you haven't already known about this. But actually, what you guys didn't probably know about was actually going to is a little bit easier than you think, uh, as in timing. So basically... Yes, whenever you turn your sirens, there's a split delay. Watch. Now, as soon as the sirens came on in that exact moment, um, there was a delay before it started going upwards. Now, let me show you what I mean by going code 2. Now, this is going code 2 where the sirens are completely empty, and I'm not editing this out at all. Now, it's actually pretty hard to talk like this and do the action at the same time, uh, but let me just show you what I'm actually doing. So, as you can see, sometimes it's wailing a little bit, and that's if you rapidly press tap uh, L2, it'll get this. Something like that, or maybe something like this. Basically, something like that, if you're really quick with it. Now, the thing is, you can't be too quick with it, but you actually have to press L3, like double tap it, like, wait a second. So, basically, lift your finger all the way in the air to ensure perfect timing. And you'll get something like that. It's very hard to time at the same time. It's kind of worth it. Because on other people's screens, it doesn't even sh have, like, any siren sounding. So, basically, people might ask you, how are you going code 2? But then again, the lights do go off. They do not stay on. I wish that there was a way to make them stay on. But other than that, it's actually still pretty cool. Because you get to fool people into thinking they actually go in code 2. So, basically, that's the first way. Of course, whenever you get out of the vehicle, it's going to sound. But that is com the complete first way on how to go code 2. Now for the next way guys. Second way to go to is basically to launch up a death march. Now this is the, the easiest way to go code 2. However there's really no use for this because if you were to publish this death march it still has the siren sounding. So whenever you basically load in the like the three camera zooms or whatever it is you guys have, you go to create a death match and go to death march. So whenever you load back into deathmatch, you can just fill out all these details with whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. I'll just put in random stuff as before. Like you remember in the previous capture video, how you guys have seen when I made the uh, other patrol video. However, it doesn't really matter what team deathmatch this is. I'm just setting up for the sake of things. But you have to place everything appropriate too, so that's pretty much the annoying thing. Uh, but whenever you're done with it, yeah, whenever you're done placing all these stupid spawn points, which I just placed down the street. Luckily, I was at a straight street here. Down for Copio, I guess. Uh, you can place your team start points, whatever you want. And for any team, it doesn't really matter because it's just for you. And you want to place down basically any emergency vehicle you want. I think it works with all of them. I'm not entirely sure, so I'll just put down uh, multiple of these. Uh, and if it does, but it should work with most of these. If not, I can see why not. But So we'll just test it now. And we'll test the death match. So we're going to get shot at, obviously. And that's why we have teammates. However, we can go inside the vehicle. And whenever we turn on the sirens, which you guys will hear is actually nothing because the sirens are completely silent. So it's like, the cool thing about this as well is that if, since the AI does spawn in, you can actually make it so that you're pulling someone over. Because if your sirens are on, they actually see it. And they actually respawn. Now, don't be too close because it doesn't show me respawning here. But you can actually honk your horn as if this is some kind of tow truck thing. So that we can actually get them to pull up more. So I'll give you an example of this right here. If I can find an AI that's not freaking out too drastically. These guys are yielding. As you can see, this, this person stopped. This person's stopping. These people aren't stopping due to the fact. But you can see these people stopping. I can air horn as if this was like LSPD up R. And then they'll stop again. But then they'll keep on going because I don't know why. But... Yeah, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to go chest out some of the other vehicles. Just to show you guys that they all work. So I'm going to try the FIB Buffalo this time, as you guys will see. It works as well. 
So you can be the undercover. You can even do the SWAT team truck. The police riot. And my guys are dying. Which is actually pretty cool. You can honk the horn on all these vehicles as well. Police bike is probably my favorite to do this glitch. The very... It's rather hard to turn it off. It's not the easiest. Let me just take down some people, I guess. And, of course, the ambulance would work too. So, yeah, you can do this with the police bike, FIB, both FIBs, and marked cruiser if you're able to place it down. But, I mean, I just thought I'd show you guys this little trick slash glitch in the video, in the uh, game, guys. So, hopefully, you'll go and press your friends. Uh, I believe the first one is actually more practical. Because if it wasn't for that, well, then you probably wouldn't be, I wouldn't be uploading this glitch. Because you'd actually be able to do, if you can top it at the very right moment, guys, then you'll be able to do a code 2 anytime in any place. Well, with that being said, I'm off a site, and I'm signing out. And happy New Year's, guys.